There's a lot of speculation, Kun Tun Satit, about a new cabinet and the Ying Lak One. They're already calling it Ying Lak One because they think there's a Ying Lak Two. <laughs> Uh, of course, we don't know who is really forming the cabinet. We keep reading, hearing stories about mm. Kun Tak Sin approaching this guy and that guy, but Kun Ying Lak insists that she is forming the cabinet. Yes. But it doesn't matter who forms the cabinet. Already the names are being floated mm. around. Mm -hmm. And as far as you can see, what would be the most important portfolios in the new cabinet? Well, the most important or the most difficult. Mm -hmm. I have here mm -hmm. a list of the five most difficult uh -huh. portfolios for mm -hmm. Kun Ying Lak, yeah. at least. Mm -hmm. The first one, whether you agree with me or not, <laughs> is the finance portfolio. Yeah, finance. It's uh, this, uh, whoever becomes a finance minister mm -hmm. have to take care of a lot of difficult mm -hmm. policies. Oh, you give me the five uh, cabinet posts first. Finance. Finance, foreign. Foreign affairs. Foreign affairs. Defense portfolio. Defense. Justice. Justice. The ICT. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. They're all big, important. Controversial, important. And it's not easy At for least. either Kun Tak Sin or Kun Ying Lak to decide who will fill all those positions. Right. Okay. Finance seems to be the number one uh, portfolio because it involves money, especially with all the election promises. promises. <laughs> yes. So you have to find money somehow, somewhere. And they have they, they are looking for a good qualified person mm -hmm. because they don't have this qualified mm -hmm. person in the Pu Thai Party. Mm -hmm. They only have junior people, partly because of the band uh, politicians mm -hmm. still mm -hmm. are still banned. But so, I see a lot of pe people in the party willing to take up this position. Yes, but uh, <laughs> Kun Yiglak, we have to think very hard about that because mm -hmm. this is the most uh, important, not, not in terms of uh, mm -hmm. implementation, but also in terms of uh, image mm -hmm. of the government. So mm -hmm. she, we have to send out a very mm -hmm. good message to the world or to mm -hmm. the Thai public that mm -hmm. she has a really qualified person. Uh -huh. So maybe an outsider, maybe an a outsider. party. And uh, another thing is that uh, from the candidates that we have been speculating about, mm -hmm. none of them has really confirmed or uh, said, uh, at least hinted mm -hmm. that they, they are ready to take up the job. It's not easy because if you get an outsider who is a well-known person, who mm -hmm. is established in his life, in his career, mm -hmm. then it's not an easy decision to drop the job and come over for a political position that, you know, you don't know how long it's going to last. Mm -hmm. You don't know how free you're going to have. What kind of freedom do you have? Mm -hmm. And, of course, the problems are serious. Mm -hmm. A lot have to do with the election promises. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because uh, the other issue maybe um, is the same old economic issue, mm -hmm. like the balancing the budget, which also was also faced by the Democrat government. Mm -hmm. So I don't think that's a, a major factor. Yeah. I think that what really matters is the election promises, which That's are very right. difficult. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the second is the foreign affairs. Yes, uh, where a, a lot of potential time bombs. <laughs> <laughs> Cambodia, Cambodia the, uh, World Court, the Germany. Your Germany incident. And one thing is that um, they, this person may have to decide on whether or not to revoke, uh, to to give back Kun Tak Sin his passport. Oh, wow. Which wow. Is that a, a that is a very sensitive controversy. Thing. Okay, defense? Defense, uh, we discussed before, it's got to be someone who can really mm -hmm. bridge the mm -hmm. gap or mm -hmm. um, um, make uh, relations, improve mm -hmm. the relations between the Pure Thai Party mm -hmm. and the Thai Armed Forces. Why do you think justice is so important? Justice usually, in the past anyway, was you know, not a very important or big issue for parties to form cabin, the cabinet. Yes, uh, but uh, Kun Jing Lak, uh, uh, she always said that reconciliation is one of the most important yes. mm -hmm. uh, 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 platform uh, uh, mm -hmm. policies of her government. So mm -hmm. the people will keep looking who will be this uh, mm -hmm. justice minister mm -hmm. in her government who mm -hmm. can um, make the consideration possible, not more difficult. <laughs> okay, so uh -huh. it has suddenly become an important the portfolio. Yes, and uh, it, it, if, if somehow Kun Ying Lak uh, ignore all the warnings and decide to mm -hmm. go mm -hmm. ahead with the MSD, this Justice, uh, Justice Minister will have to mm -hmm. be the forefront of that. Right, mm -hmm. then ICT. ICT is a big, mm -hmm. big uh, project and it involves investment of a huge amount of money. 
Yes, and uh, it involved the telecom industry, uh, which we know why uh, the <laughs> telecom industry is so controversial, it's so um, mm -hmm. uh, important mm -hmm. when Kun Jing Lak is concerned. So mm -hmm. the, the, uh, everyone will keep looking who will be this uh, mm -hmm. ICT minister. Mm -hmm. Well, these are all the politically sensitive uh, portfolios, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. you know, if you ask me, education is very, very important. So that would be one important, but may not be so difficult yeah, to, yeah. To, to get it yeah. filled in. I mean, uh, I understand mm -hmm. what you mean. But yeah. the, if they have the five, the five portfolios fixed, then the rest would be plain selling for Thaksin and Kunyingla.